From the Chuck Ferris stages in Hollywood, California, it's The Dating Game. Here's the star of the show and your host, Jim Lang. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And welcome to The Dating Game. Good luck, guys. Well, let me tell you about these fellas. Bachelor number one is a regular at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles, and he runs three miles a day to keep in shape. He likes to write. He likes to dress in the morning, which is wonderful, and spend time at the beach. Here he is, John Starr. Johnny, welcome. And now it's time to meet our lovely young lady for game number one. This sweet young cutie pie plans a career as either a pro skier or a tennis player. She holds the title of Miss Rendezvous. Number one, would you like to say something to Cindy? Hello, Sugar Lips. How you doing, honey? Okay. And here's the game. Okay, bachelor number one. How do you know if a girl is a low life? Is a, is, is a low life? A low life. Okay, a well, life. Cindy, I want to tell you about my, my last girlfriend. I want to put this as tactfully as possible. Um, do, do the words cheap tramp mean anything to you? <laughs> My last girlfriend was, you know, really right up there. I, I didn't think she was really low life until I found out she was passing out her cards when the ships were coming in in the harbor. <laughs> but I'm not dating girls like that anymore. I'm looking for a real high class girl, you know, someone I can have a lot of fun with, you know, take out, really have a good time, and you're the one. So, you know, what do you say? You came to the right place. Okay, terrific. Listen, you want to go out now? Should we finish the show? No, we got to finish the show. Okay, I'm sorry. No. If you were a warlock, what would you turn me into on our first fight? You know, it's funny you should ask me that, because I was talking to Barbara Streisand yesterday about name droppers, and uh, Barry Manilow was there. We were talking about warlocks. That subject came up, and she asked me, and, you know, Barry Manilow, he's so funny. What a crazy... Anyways, warlocks. Um, <laughs> she asked me, Streisand, and you know Babs. <laughs> what a crazy gal. She asked me what I thought I should turn you into if I was going to do the dating game and with you. And what was that? Um, well, essentially, she thought I should just, you know, leave you the way you were. You're just so perfect and lovely, and that okay. voice is fabulous. <laughs> talk to me like a baby, and describe your favorite baby toy to me. Okay, well, my dear, uh, I was born with a very <laughs> mature voice, and this is essentially how I sounded when I was a child. <laughs> and uh, describing my most favorite toy, I really can't do that because we are on the air. However, I can describe for you what I think would be really a terrific time with me in, you know, like using a toy, but I can't because we're on the air and that doesn't make sense. But the point is, I like you a lot. I like to get to know you in a biblical way, but I can't say that. Okay. We're on the air. Okay, you Does might. that make sense? You might. Okay. okay. Well, okay, Cindy. Okay, number one. Yes. What do you have that John Travolta wants? Your number. <laughs> All right, Cindy, that's it. Stay right there. I'm going to make up your mind for the dating game. All right, Cindy. We've come to the moment of truth now. You're going to have to tell us which one of those bachelors uh, piqued your interest. Which one over there gets the date? Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who's the lucky guy? Number one. Number one. All right. Bachelor number one. He's a comedian, works at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. He loves to jog, and he's a fine writer. Say hello to John Starr. John, come on over here. Wow. I know Streisand. Uh, Woo! Ow! Uh, well, first of all, Cindy. Aw, shy Cindy. And now it's time to take care of the two of you with a super swinging, great date, a big night on the town. Come on back. I think you're ready to go, aren't you? I think so. All right, that's it. Jim Lang say bye for now, and I hope you always get the date that you really want. Ready to throw a kiss? Ready to fire? Come on, here we go. Come on. Some of our couples will be chauffeured by America, the extra service car rental that gives you the executive treatment. Features Ford and other fine cars. The Newlywed Game with Bob Eubanks is next.